What's up, what's up, YouTube fam? It's WF Colonel, representing WF Madden, and today I'm breaking down the Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook. Nice little quick, free ebook for you guys. Um, somebody in my uh, comments, a uh, loyal subscriber, loyal, loyal watcher, wanted to see something from the Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook. So instead of just breaking down one play for him, I'm going to break down a few different things so he can add a nice little mini scheme into his arsenal. And uh, I'm doing this for him because I want to help improve not only his game, but everyone's game as much as I possibly can. I want to give back as much as I possibly can because you guys have given me so much as viewers and loyal subscribers and YouTube fam. So if there's anything that y'all need help with, anything that y'all want to see, leave it in the comments and I'll do my very best to help you guys out the same way I'm doing my very best to try to help out this loyal viewer, loyal watcher, because I really appreciate all of you guys. So let's get into it. Indianapolis Colts offense playbook. Uh, the formation is called the spread Y slot week. We're going to take a look at that. A few different plays, breaking down like a nice little mini scheme you can run from it. Um, in short, I'm not going to talk about the run game too much, but there are some really good options. First and foremost, your bread and butter when you talk about the run game is going to be inside zone. We already know what time it is with inside zone, so no need to break it down. Um, you also have a nice, good uh, accent with the HB base, and you also have some read option action. If you have a fast enough quarterback, you're able to get that going. So those are the main runs that you have at your disposal. I don't really like the, the draws too much. I like to stay away from them unless they're only really rushing like three guys if they're rushing like three guys or two guys that's when you want to mix in your draws because you can have a defensive lineman dropping back in coverage you know your o line are going to get into them so that's uh when you want to use those and uh, i'm not really too huge on this rpo i don't really like it at all so i really stay away from it and uh, if you want the type of run action just go ahead and go with the inside zone so that's a quick little glance of the run game so let's get into the actual breakdowns um, probably my favorite play from this formation in the Indianapolis Colts playbook is the uh, smash corners play. We're going to take a look at that. And um, I'm not going to spend too, too much time on all of these plays as far as because there's a few different plays and I don't want to make this video super long. So this is what it looks like when you break the huddle. What I really like to do with this is I just like to put the A tight end put him on a hitch route. Now I have two setups from this play. This is the first one. So immediately you have two hot reads. So in case your opponent's blitzing, you have a nice hot read to the nice little hitch route to the A uh, tight end, and you still got your RB coming out the backfield. So that kind of puts a little bit of pressure on your opponent if they're blitzing. So they got to cover left and right. Just something to think about. And always those hitches get open no matter what coverage. I mean, well, well, no matter what type of man coverage, if they're matched up. So if they're blitzing heavily in man coverage, then that little hitch is money every single time. They're going to have to use a cover it because there's nothing from it. There's, they have nothing against it. They can't bump it. It's just going to be open every single time. They have to use it. So in general, what you're going to get it. Um, let me break down this play as far as like a cover three standpoint since we already have cover three on the field. I'm going to break down the main three throws you're going to get from cover three. You're gonna mainly want to work the smash concept that baby hitch on the outside. It's um it's money against cover three, so we got cover three again. And uh actually the best route against cover three is this corner route by Y. It's this I don't know what's up with it. It's probably the best corner route against this against cover three, especially working this smash concept because most of these corner routes that you'll see in other formations, the corners drop back deep and end up playing it. In this situation, the corner, he drops back too deep. It's just a wide open catch every single time in cover three uh, if they have purples on the field. So, again, we're going to show another, our last ditch effort, that last ditch play and cover three from this setup. If they're covering everything on the left side and they use the cover, you're going to be looking for that deep in route by the BY receiver, which it just puts a lot of pressure against cover three. A lot of pressure against user defenders because it breaks over the middle of the field super late. Uh, let's hop into cover two. Same exact setup. 
But the main thing you want to look for in cover two, you want to look for this running back. And if you get enough time, nice little dot right there. So I really like to set up against, uh, against a lot of different coverages. So we're going to take this very same play. This is the second setup from this. You're going to motion your left slot Y, motion them across the, the right side, motion them to the right to block your running back, streak your X Y receiver, and then drag your A Y receiver. It's a nice high low across the middle of the field. And then you have your B Y receiver breaking across the middle late. You'll see how powerful this is. Again, that's a really nice cut by that corner that's inverted into a post. It's a really nice cut. Great angles. And it provides a nice high low against every single zone coverage you're gonna face into the game in the game. This guy out on the outside left, he's just running a clear out route, a clear out route. He's just gonna just he's there for spacing. You got a nice little high low. This player he's breaking across the middle extremely quickly, putting pressure on underneath hooks on the defenders, whether it be cover two, cover three, cover four, puts a lot of pressure underneath. So they have to choose do they guard him or do they guard this post? And if they choose to guard him, this post is gonna be way open, especially if you have a fast guy right here. If a fast guy is right here, then they can't just even take a false step. If they take a false step up, it's gonna leave this guy open. You're gonna be able to get big plays like this. And this is very successful against cover three, cover two, and as well as man coverage. I really, really like this. Um, let me just hop into the replay one more time. Hopefully you guys can see this guy breaks late across the middle of the field. So let's say one of these users just follows this guy and users him and just takes him out to play by the user. This guy's gonna break across the field late for a nice play across the middle. So I, I really like this uh this smash play. Let's hop into another look from this formation. All right, so it's the gun spread Y slot weak formation. We've already covered. Uh, We've already covered, uh, do, 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 what, which one do we cover? Where's it at? It disappeared. We already covered smash corners. Now let's take a look at corner strike. Now I just love this setup from corner strike. You guys may have seen it before, but it works amazingly well. You guys can run it from the left or from the right. What you want to do is block your running back first and foremost. And you'll want to take the the uh, C route that's on the outside left or the outside right, motion it across the field. I'm just using the left C route first, and then you can streak your your Y Y receiver, drag your A, and then put your B on an in route. A very nice high low across the middle of the field. You have a nice follow concept between A and B. Puts a lot of stress on the defense, and then. That C route breaks across so late, your opponent's eyes have already been focused on everything underneath. So it's good against man coverage because especially if you have a dude that's really good at running that C route against man coverage, he's gonna get open every single time. Just a matter of if he's fast enough, if you have time in the pocket, and uh, if his route running is good enough. And um, so we talked about the C route, man coverage beater as well. If this player is uh, has, has a good enough matchup, he's gonna beat man coverage. And uh, of course, the in route, if he has the matchup and the speed, he's going to beat man coverage as well. But we have zone on the field. You have a nice initial route to get the eyes of the defense. Then you have a nice follow concept running behind it. So if this guy were to have chased this drag, and a nice void in the middle of the field for this in route would be open, whether it be cover two, cover three, or cover four. And let's say everybody's locked down underneath, everyone plays their assignments. Uh, this guy is working. He's at, he's working up the field. The defense is lulled to sleep by all the action in front of him. He's working so far up the field, but he just breaks across the middle, and you're able to get a nice play. Whether it be cover three, cover four, man coverage, cover two, it's going to be there. It's assaulting the middle of the field. So I really like this corner strike play, and I showed it from motioning the X receiver over the outside left receiver. You can do the very same thing motion this outside right guy. Same exact setup. It's just flipped the other way. It just looks different from the defensive perspective. Same exact play, guys. Same exact play. 
So that corner strike play is very deadly. I love this setup. It's so it's won me so many games. It's got me so many big first downs. That C route breaking late across the middle of the field, it's money, guys. It's just a matter of can you stay up? Do you have enough time to make the throw? And you still have nice check downs. Uh do do do. Let's take a look at uh PA bubble Y over. Nice little more of a deep shot play. Uh, pretty much the same fundamentals with this going on, but in this setup, I haven't really shown. You want to take your Y, Y receiver, put him on a hitch route, motion to the right side of the field. That's all you got to do with this play. And what you have is you have a, a uh, a uh, stick route combo to the right side between Y and the running back on this play action route and then you have a pretty much a, uh, a high low between the Y wide receiver and the tight end Doyle and then Doyle's working across on an over route as well then it's a double post play which is good against cover too so a lot of action going on here let's just take a look at you know what a lot of you guys are here to see Big play potential with the over route with Doyle. Uh, do, 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 do. So like I said, you're going to be looking towards the stick action to the right side first and foremost. You got the nice little sit down and then you have the flat, which just works as a really nice check down as well. Both of these are really good check downs. But the reason why this is so successful is this this uh, hitch is attacking this this hook zone right here. Does the hook zone play the hitch, or do you get back deep for the deeper route? This hitch is here every single play, all the time. And let's say this guy is a user control defender. He wants to take away this uh, this hitch. Okay, you're going to leave this computer control defender just sitting in his zone, guarding nothing after this point for the easy catch. And same way if one of these guys wants to guard the over route you're leaving this hitch route open every single time and I shouldn't even have to explain how the uh, how the uh, double post action works against cover two um, one of these guys on the post will be open for a deep shot so let's talk about cover four Cover four, it glitches the coverage, and Doyle's able to pop open easy for the big game. I really, really like this play, guys. A lot of versatility, a lot of deep shot potential between both these double posts, and you still have a nice underneath game between the uh, the Y wide receiver and your running back running short. Do do do, some good action here, guys. Hopefully, this is able to help a lot of you guys out. Um. Let's talk about something that's okay and more double post action but this time from the other way so I just showed you guys the PA bubble Y over which has double post action from right to left now the double post has po double post action from left to right but I really don't use this play necessarily for the double post action I use it because of the a receiver a tight end Doyle his over route it's really strong I'm not going to run through it. I've, I've, I think I've shown this play uh, on, on my channel before, but a few different setups. Um, you can block your running back and drag your BY receiver. You have a nice drive com, uh, route concept working across the middle of the field, and you still have the big play potential for the over route for Doyle. Um, it's a high-low concept. Um, you can do a very similar thing. with, uh, Like you could have... This setup right here, I used this one a whole lot last year. So with this, you still have a high low on the left side of the field with X Hilton. He is the low, and Doyle works as the high. It really isolates curl flat defenders, and um, you have B as an, as a nice check down. So this uh, route combo is very good as well, especially if your opponent's playing man coverage and, you, and that tight end is really good if you have the right guy if they're playing man coverage. Uh, let's talk about more setups. What else can we do? If you want to keep the flow going from right to left, you can motion over Rodgers or Hilton if you wanted to. You can drag Rodgers, block your running back, 
and there's a few different things. You can leave Funches on his in route. It's just a little bit deeper breaking route. Or if you want a more quick action, like as shown in like the corner strike uh, video before, um, part before, you can put him on a, a little quick, little small in route, which he has a, ends up being a nice follow concept. Puts a little bit more stress on the defense quicker. It's, it requires a quicker reads on offense, but it's still very good as well. But if you want that deeper in, that works as well. And you could just have B on the little smoke screen, which just keeps the curl flat defender honest. So if they don't have any curl, um, any flat defense, and you see a bump on Doyle, you'll be able to throw the ball immediately to B if it's, you see cover three action. Um, just easy yards, and you still have the nice high low over the middle of the field between Rodgers and Doyle. So there's a lot of different things you can do from that setup as well. Uh, now, right now I'm just talking. I showed you guys the meat of what the mini scheme is, but let's just talk about a few different things you can do as well. Hopefully, let's see if there's more we can we can add. Hopefully, we can provide a little bit more value to you guys. Um, only really thing I really want to talk about is the dagger. PA read is working pretty much the same way as double post. PA read is going to work in a similar fashion. Uh, so no need to go over PA read, but you can get some decent work out of that out of that uh, post route by that B wide receiver outside right wide receiver. Um, okay. Yeah, let's just talk about PA Dagger real quick. I like Dagger as a cover three beater. And it puts a little bit of pressure against cover two. But it's mainly a cover three beater. The thing I don't like is that, that A wide receiver, that A tight end Doyle, he's super far off the, uh, like he's not in a traditional tight end position. So it makes it a, uh, a longer read. Let me see if we can motion him in a little bit. Now nah, we can't do that because he has to reset. Let's see how well it works just from uh, him being over there. So you really don't have to make any changes to make the core dagger concept work. The, the main thing is when you run dagger is the Y, Y receiver. He pushes the defense back deep, allowing the A tight end Doyo to run underneath in the soft zone areas. And uh, if they chase the A wide receiver, Doyle, or tight end, then uh, it'll create a void in the middle of the field for uh, T.Y. Hilton on his dig route. Also, if you get one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside right, and you notice that, because that's where you kind of should be looking first and foremost, you'll be able to hit that curl route. But instead of curls, you can put a, a, a deep out. So cover three, I think we got cover three on the field. That should have been open, should have been easy throw, but it is what it is, guys. Let's take a look at it one more time. So you got possession catch it, kind of lead, pass it down, back to yourself. Should be a pretty easy play. Shouldn't, shouldn't have any risk of really being intercepted. But let's take a look at the actual dagger concept on the left side of the field. It's easy money. It's a nice early play for, you know, easy downs. Keep you in a nice down and distant zone, especially against cover three. If you know you're getting cover three, like I said, this guy's going to work deep. Pushing, he's keeping these, these, this, this uh, hook player deep. And um, the curl flat defender also has to gain depth because he has to play this dig. Because if, you're able, if he doesn't get depth, you'll be able to throw this dig as soon as he takes his inside cut. Like literally at this point, you could throw it if this player wasn't getting depth. So with all that happening, you can just throw this ball underneath for the easy completion. Like I said, if this guy were to chase this drag route, then it would leave a, a void. So you can kind of lead past this dig deeper and throw it over the top of anybody in the middle of the field if, uh, if this player were to chase. So it's a nice little easy play as well. So hopefully you guys can... Uh, add these plays into your scheme and hopefully this was able to help you guys like i said i'm trying to help as many people get better at the game as possible guys i'm not i'm trying not to sell anything i'm trying just to give you all this information to get you better leading into madden 21 because that's my goal is to improve you guys as much as i possibly can and give you guys the knowledge that i possibly have 
to help you guys get better at the game. So if you liked this video, go ahead and thumbs it up. If you loved it, subscribe to your boy. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if there's anything you want to see, leave it in the comments. I want to see what y'all guys want to know so it can help me give you guys the information that you want to know. So, WF Colonel, I'm out.